Hey everybody, this is Mike from Homegrown Productions coming at you with some Hitman Absolution gameplay. I'm playing King of Chinatown. I'm trying to do a suit only mission. I kind of just did this for fun. I wasn't really trying to do anything too serious with it. Uh, so it's definitely not the cleanest run through this. Uh, I mainly just wanted something in the background to go so I could talk to you guys for a minute. Um, I am soon going to be having a PC rig up and running. And I'm looking to be doing some, you know, maybe some uh, live commentaries and some post-coms with some PC games. Um, definitely thinking about doing DayZ. I have been absolutely obsessed with that game ever since I've seen uh, Frankie on PC and 1080p's videos and also scene anners and things like that. So I'm really excited to get rocking on that. And even better, uh, Steam has Arma 2 Combined Ops, which is the full game plus the um, operation something or other expansion on sale for like 19 bucks usually it's 30 so that's a really good deal and then the DayZ mod of course is free so I am super excited about that I think Sam is gonna be jumping on that with me Sam actually has his PC up and running I think right now uh, I think he actually was recording something last night so keep an eye out for that he should have something coming out soon also, uh, Sam's going to be doing some Minecraft, so you might see me over there with him. Um, I'm thinking about also checking out Planet Side 2. I had played the original Planet Side on my PC way back, um, and my computer was kind of having a hard time running it once I went into multiplayer. It handled the tutorials fine, but for whatever reason, I just was having some crazy problems getting online with it. So um, I'll probably be checking that out, maybe also a couple other games on Steam. Um, I do want to play things like The Hidden and stuff like that because that game just looks super fun. So keep an eye out. Uh, if there's anything you think I should check out, let me know in the comments. Um, I think you can tell from the videos that I put, I like, you know, FPSs and shooters and things like that. So if there's something, anything like that that you want to see or you think I might be interested in, let me know. Also, I am on the prowl for a PC gaming headset, uh, something that's dual compatible with Xbox 360 is a plus. I don't really have a whole lot of confidence in these turtle beaches that I'm running right now. Um, using the X12s, I get some weird sound artifacts if I run the USB not into an Xbox. Um, I haven't tried it on a desktop system. I do get some weird audio stuff going on if I plug it into my MacBook Pro. Um, but maybe that's just because it's a Mac. It, Apple is kind of has weird drivers or something. I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine on a uh, Windows-based PC, but we'll have to see. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe checking out Tritons or maybe some better um, Turtle Beaches. I've also been looking at the Astros. I don't know if I want to spend that much money, but the Astros look pretty awesome. Um, so let me know in the uh, comments what you guys have been using. Um, let me know if you have any recommendations, things you think I should check out. Uh, I definitely want something that I can use for uh, gaming. Um, 5.1, absolutely bare minimum. I don't really care about 7.1, but whatever. I'm leaning toward wired because I don't want to have to worry about any wireless interference. Uh, some of these headsets transmit over 2.4 gigahertz. I do have a dual band um, Wi-Fi emitter, 2.4 and 5, so I mean it probably wouldn't give me too many problems, but just in case. Sometimes they don't always both show up. So, and I'm not really planning on running around the house with the headset, the headphones on and you know, having to be concerned about being tethered down or anything, so not hugely concerned. But please let me know if you have any recommendations, if you have something you think I should check out, um, anything in the 5.1, you know, preferably less than $200. I still have to get a computer chair, so there are th other costs to consider. <laughs> um, also, uh, we gotta see if we can get Ben over to PC, that'd be fun to get the three of us. He's been doing some uh, Happy Wheels stuff, I think he's using QuickTime to capture. Uh, I think Sam and I are going to be checking out uh, the Razer Gaming has a system that they have and also there's Fraps out there I might check out. Um, free is always a plus. I don't really... If I can avoid paying for things, that's awesome. <laughs> Not that I pirate anything, but, you know, free to use stuff is great. And I do still have this, uh, the Elgato capture system that I can use for HDMI and um, both the monitors that I picked up have HDMI inputs and my video card has HDMI out besides dual DVIs so if I have to I can switch over to HDMI and capture that way so you know I'm not too concerned. Um, also something that I want to make sure that you guys realize is we do have an online video submission form 
uh, for you guys to send us your videos that we can put up, talk about, and things like that. So be sure to do that. I don't think we've actually received anything yet, which is getting a little concerning. Um, especially where we have, I think, last time I checked, we had about 77 subscribers. So, I mean, come on, some of you guys gotta have stuff for, to submit to us. Come on! <laughs> That's what Homegrown's all about, you know. It's about you guys, it's not just about me and Ben and Sam. So keep that in mind. Send us things if you got something to, you know, something that you want to show off. Um, so I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about uh, in this little segment here. Uh, one thing, so to talk about, um, to actually talk about Hitman for once, this entire video. Um, I am a huge fan of Absolution. Um, I do like how open-ended it is. That's one of my favorite aspects about the Hitman series, is that it just drops you in, and you can just do whatever you want. Um, I've gone through levels trying to be really sneaky quiet, I've gone through other videos, uh, other, other levels, guns blazing, and it's just great that this game lets you do that, and there aren't really... I mean, now it kind of makes you feel guilty with these, this scoring system. Um, where you lose points for doing certain things and you get points for doing certain things, so it kind of starts to push you in the direction of trying to do things sneakily and quietly and not killing people unnecessarily and not leaving a trail of bodies. Um, which I guess, you know, makes sense. Um, and in this one, I kind of I tried to sort of show my own playing style in this video. Um, I'm typically, whenever I played, uh, like Blood Money for example, I was always wanting to... Accidents wasn't really my way of doing things, you know. I always kind of said, always thought of it as, hey, I'm a hitman, you know, I've got these super cool, you know, Colt 45s. Why am I not using them, <laughs> you know? They're suppressed for a reason. They're for using. So, I used to always just you know, assassinate targets that way. Um, and then also the sniper rifle was something that I like to use a lot. Um, the only disappointing thing was in this one that it's an unsuppressed sniper rifle, so of course as soon as I pulled the trigger, uh, cops were all over me. But I tried to kind of get out kind of quietly, but it was tough. I don't know if I just glitched it in some sort of bad way where they would just not leave me alone. Um, but whatever. I just wanted to finish the level. I tried to kind of book it out there at the last minute. Didn't realize that I couldn't exit while they were on full alert, so... Waiting for them to leave me alone for a second here. Try not to eliminate too many people. I think I come out of this with a pretty good score, so... All in all, I really did enjoy this game. Um, replayability is definitely there. I don't know if I'm going to go through the whole campaign again, because I have other things to start checking out. This has been Mike with Homegrown Productions. Hope you enjoyed. Please rate, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.